Hey, hi, am I going to spend the next few minutes talking about a tech demo? Well, duh. Let's start off by saying that I am not the biggest Resident Evil fan. I am shocked and appalled. That is not to say I don't like Resident Evil. I still don't get it. Resident Evil began in 1996 when I was but a wee young lad, so I wasn't too keen on playing such a scary game. It was scary at the time. I also didn't have a PlayStation, so there's that. The same can be said for the next few games in the series. So by the time I could actually play one, it was around Resident Evil 5, but I felt like if I jumped in now, I wouldn't have any idea what was going on or who anyone was. What the hell are you talking about? This is also true for Resident Evil 6 and Biohazard, as well as all the spin-off and follow-up games. So I resigned myself to the belief that Resident Evil was just not for me. I had missed the boat. I hate, hate, hate being left out. But then... This is not how I imagined my first day. In 2019, Resident Evil 2 was reimagined and remade better than it ever was before. Or so I'm told. And a year later came the Resident Evil 3 remake. And finally, I can see what these games are. And they are... scary. But at least now I have some idea of what this series is all about. Running away from large, lumbering... things. Yeah, we'll get to her. So now Resident Evil 8 Village, or just Resident Evil Village, I guess, is coming up, and I am... excited? Intrigued. Curious! So I was all too keen to try out the first of two demos. This one is called Maiden. We find ourselves locked in a dungeon. We're told to leave. As there's no combat in this demo, it's a masterclass in atmospheric storytelling. The dungeon is properly creepy, and a limited light source makes every shadow scary. Hi! Hi! Ain't got no body, and nobody cares for I me. Mean, yuck, 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 ha! Igor, Frederick. Venture deeper into the darkness, and you'll find torture devices. A woman with bolt cutters stabbed in her back. A hanging dead man. Ah! Fuck you. Just get the bolt cutters and go, okay? And then. Wait a minute, what's that noise? Hell no. To the no, no. Anyway, as we travel up into the castle, we see more of that atmospheric storytelling. The lighting, the shadow, what was that? Do you see that? There's nothing, no, never mind. The world speaks to you. And as you travel, okay, yeah, that's a hand. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Let's go. It sometimes feels like a fun Scooby-Doo episode, you know, searching around the big scary mansion. No, it isn't. Look. Anyway, we press on, traveling down long hallways that definitely don't have anything around the corner. Good. Even this hallway tells the story. We eventually find our way into the grand foyer, and in any other game, this would be a warm and inviting space. Obviously not here. Here we know we aren't safe, like there's someone watching us. <laughs> yep. And we see more of these little atmospheric details. In the fireplace, there are clothes burning, a gruesome looking teacup, and blood leading into the next room. We find a door, but it's locked, so now we have to look for a key. Going back into the main foyer, and that's a lady, that's a creepy lady. <laughs> okay, let's, alrighty, cool, okay. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, uh, through the standard search every cabinet uh, of every video game ever, we find ourselves the key. So now let's just leave? Yeah, we can go. There's, there's not gonna be any problems. Eh, okay, yeah, that, that, is a, that is a bee lady. Okay, all right, let's, ah, okay. Yep, she, she got us on that one. Let's, uh, let's, let's leave. Uh, okay, and we're walking, and we're walking, and we're walking, we're using our key, and... There she is. So we finally meet. <laughs> Obviously, a great deal of attention that this tech demo is getting can be attributed to... The big woman. She is Lady Demetrescu. I think. Close enough. And this is her house. 
Apparently, the story of Resident Evil Village is a sequel to Resident Evil 7, Biohazard. You play as Ethan Winters. His daughter is kidnapped by Chris Redfield. He takes her to a village, and the Damatrescu Castle is nearby. Not much else is known about this game. There are some returning characters, and there are some new ones, like the Duke. The developers took inspiration from multiple sources, from 16th century Hungarian murderers to Morticia Adams, and have said it feels like a horror game you can play balancing exploration, combat, and puzzle solving. As my curiosity grows, so does my weariness. This is absolutely a me problem, but I'm afraid I'll get lost. This is a sequel. There are returning characters. So do I have to go back and play an entire library of games to know what's happening? I certainly hope not, because I'm not gonna do that. Why? It's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. But also I want to see how enjoyable it is to a completely new gamer. One who isn't as well versed in the deep lore of its story. And that's exactly where I'm at right now. I believe games should be able to stand up on their own and be able to present their story and characters to those who don't already know them. And if this demo is anything to go by, I think I'm in good shape. It is that atmospheric storytelling, telling the player everything they need to know just by the details of the world. And this looks like an incredibly detailed and descriptive world at that. So, Resident Evil. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. 